Believe it or not, we recently discovered a large deposit of this beautiful brett shaded jasper, and the only evidence we had that it existed were a few pieces of red jasper along a logging road. If you're interested, stay tuned and we'll not only show you how we discovered this deposit, but we'll tell you how we came up with a name for this beautiful manganese rich brett shaded jasper that we are calling Monet Jasper Stone. Hi, I'm Jack Whittles. And I'm Krista Stone. And together, we we're are Whittlestone, Whittlestone Geologic, Geologic Treasures. Treasures. Today, we got a, another special treat for you. We are going to show you how logging road prospecting worked out incredibly well, and we found the Monet Jasper site. That's right. So what we are looking at here, the reason I was here working was because of this landslide. And that's how much uh, devastation a landslide can cause. trying to determine whether to get the road past it and do some logging and then I was looking uh, at the logging block up above us and uh, when I was out here we started to notice in the road little rocks like this little pieces of red jasper you see quite a bit of it in places here you see any bigger pieces Krista there's a yeah there's some bigger ones over there Right, right in front that one. Yeah, just wet that one. Can you wet that one? And sh see what it looks like. Yeah, so that's a nice, nice red jasper. And it was so funny. Um, the fellow I was working with is not a rock collector, uh, but once he saw me picking up these red rocks, he figured he better grab some for his wife. <laughs> and uh, so we uh, we did our. I did my assessment. Uh, determined you have to use coarse rock fill to rebuild this road. And uh, then um, I was asking him, where did the rock come from? If you look at the cut slopes along here, all we see is glacial till. Nothing else but glacial till. And that's all we saw coming up this road system. So then we had to start working back to where the rock might be coming from. I figured it wasn't coming from that direction. Nobody's aware of any quarries that way. So then we uh, decided to start driving back the other way. And uh, we'll show you where we went and looked next. You found lots of good stuff? Oh, you're filling your pocket, aren't you? <laughs> There's lots of pieces of it. Yeah, no, I saw those. I those up. That's those. mine. Maybe yeah, that's yours. I already seen those ones. Pretty red jasper. They were already the ones I, I licked, licked it. It's mine. <laughs> you wouldn't want to lick rock, would you? I claimed it. Oh, geez. She took it. I was already spotted them, but I wasn't really going to go pick them up. I was just seeing if there was anything else in the vicinity. Uh-huh. I can't claim something I've already played. There's a pretty one. Ooh, look at those pretty rocks. Well, maybe not. The elk might think so. Chris is still busy picking away. Nice pieces of red jasper. No, there's some big pieces there. Some really nice stuff. It's gonna be a lot more over at the source. On this road I travel on. And no bedrock. I say goodbye. Home for now, I got nothing going on anyhow. By tomorrow, I'll be long gone. Yeah, I'm headed east to the rising sun. I got my foot down on the gas. I wanna hear that engine run. But no one here to miss me when I'm driving along this section of road next. And looking down, it was raining, and you can start to see a lot of red in the road fill. It was raining the first time we were here and the rocks really stood out. But there's a really nice piece. 
get some moisture on that. You can see the red. And this is what this one looks like when it's cut open. Isn't that nice? Look at all the colors. So the road down here was repaired a bit with some of the rock from the quarry. And come into the ditch. You see it all here, Krista. Once we see the wet rock, you can see it lots and lots of red. All through here. And when this stuff is wet, it is beautiful. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful rock. Spectacular. So much pretty rock. Look at that. Isn't that glorious? Chris is busy filling the truck again. <clears throat> some of it has some quartz veining. And this is what this one looks like when it's cut open. That is gorgeous. Imagine just going along a road and picking this material up. How wonderful is that? I just found this piece lying on the road. And it looks interesting. It's just amazing to me when, when this stuff is wet or dry how beautiful it can look. Look at that. Look at the color in there. <laughs> wow. That's just gorgeous. And this one's one of my favorite kinds too. And then you get the green matrix, really nice contrast. And here's this piece cut open. Look at how beautiful that is. Imagine just picking that up along a ditch line. And of course this piece looks good. Look at that. Just amazing. Well, that piece will be nice too. That'll be really nice. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning material. In my opinion, this is at least equal to the Michigan Pudding Stone. Good quality material. In terms of color and contrast, I think it's better actually. I don't think it polishes as well because it's not all silicious. It is a manganese deposit, which gives it the color. It also makes it a softer rock. So that's more of the homogeneous red. That's not, to me, it's not as interesting. Oh, look at that. Just so beautiful, so elegant. Well, 
What about this one? Oh. Some of this red's been cutting okay. But it, it still doesn't interest me as much. You do see some brighter red sections, a little bit of contrast there, which makes it a nicer piece. It doesn't hurt to throw it in the truck since they're right there. Well, she's really getting into it. It's just beautiful, look at that. Yeah. Well, that's nice with the green contrast. Yeah, it? it's beautiful. So I said I got some nice pieces. I got little ones that have got little stripies in them too that are going to polish up super nice when we get the tumbler going. Oh, that's yeah. good. Like I said, I got the bread and butter stuff. I like to clean it because it's nice and spot some really nice pieces that are going to shine up really nice because they're such a good, dark, vibrant color. Right. So this is what I like to cut because it's so... It's going to end up being the bread and butter. Yeah. The green ones will look good too like this does good <laughs> it's all about value yeah gotta like that rock here <laughs> look at that right in the water wow oh I missed that one That is incredible. Absolutely incredible. I'm not going to get you out of here, am I? We haven't even got to the oak crop yet. Let's see what this one looks like washed off. Wow, nice contrast. I like that. Gorgeous. Add it to the ever-growing pile and the ever-growing number of piles. Chris haven't even left her spot yet. Look at it all. This is crazy. Oh, there's no one.
intriguing. Wow, look at that. It's amazing. Oh, that's nice. Look how pretty that is. Pockets are full, roads full, trucks full, and it's still coming. Here's one pile. There's Krista trying to make another pile. <laughs> There's another pile. There's another pile. Now we're going to bring the truck over and start loading. If any of you are wondering how we came up with the name Monet Jasperstone, uh, when I first cut and polished the rock, from this site, it reminded me of a, the texture of a painting. If you look on the right of your screen, you will see a close-up of the Monet Poppy Fields painting. And to me, the uh, color and texture were quite similar. And that is how we came up with the name Monet Jasperstone. In order to complete the story of uh, logging road prospecting and how we found the Monet Jasper site, uh, we realized that after collecting lots of uh, beautiful jasper in the ditch line, that the rock used to repair the road at this location came from directly upslope of us. We were so excited to walk up that road and see so much Monet Jasper just lying in the ditch line and along the cut slope of the road. And uh, that is where we're going to take you next. Chris had just noticed the uh, red outside the window, and almost every rock in here is uh, Monet Jasper. Here, look at that piece. Wow. I think the road's been resurfaced with this uh, Monet Jasper material. Oh man, we haven't even got up to the site yet. Oh wow, it's just like thick. Yeah, so I'm saying this is like... Look at this one. This is beautiful. Oh wow, that's solid. <sighs> All right. This is the big piece I just threw in the truck from randomly from the road. It was all dirty and it uh, has a lot of color inside. It's quite nice, but quite fractured. So you have to be more selective when you're out there, but this was all covered in dirt, so it was hard to see. Still has potential for nice uh, lapidary pieces within it though. So here we are at the site. Krista's already uh, filling the truck. And uh, it appears that the uh, road builder that I talked to has actually scraped the outcrop and put a bunch of big rock in the ditch. And uh, I can guarantee you that one right there will make a wonderful table. Yeah, look at the colors on those and look at the red on the bank cut slope this is where Kyle and I were picking off some rocks awesome but an excavator has come in here and removed it all but look at the colors in this wall this is amazing How beautiful is that? Nature at its best. This is pretty wonderful. Come look at the outcrop here, Krista. Come see the outcrop here. Just fantastic stuff. And the road's built out of it. The ditch line's full of it. And now the road down below is full. So give a smile. Say hello. Cause nobody I think this is the best really oat crop right here. Really Might make a friend. That could be the end. 
Everything's better when you're living. Pretty sure that piece will be good. In the flow. It's got color all, all through it. Flow. Some of these do as well. Color's amazing in places. Oh wow, look at that stuff. I shine the light. I try to spread the joy. That really dark matrix with the red. I see the truth. I try to be a boy. I smile a lot. Wow. I do my Unbelievable. Best. Back here at home, I'm just going to show you the rocks uh, dry and then wet. Just to show you how fantastic it looks once they wet it down. Some of these you can't tell when they're dry, but we will have a look and look at how uh, wonderful the colors are coming out. Look at a lot of pretty colors. Quite magnificent. And you're my good friend. <laughs> so I'm leaving town in a day or two. My time well spent. Time with you. Eleven days I had a little rest. Never ever will you be second best. 